Hello and happy Fridays. I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a good week. This is Fridays with Brandon and today you are on episode number 74 of Fluke Fridays. Today what we're going to do is an unboxing. We have not had an unboxing for a long time but this is a new laser shaft alignment tool from Fluke and we're going to unbox it. So stick with us. Let's get to it. Okay, so here's the case. And I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a Fluke logo here, but maybe I got a early case that didn't come with it correctly, I don't know. But let's jump into it over here and we'll look at what we've got. So very similar, if not the identical case that the uh, Fluke 830 comes in or did come in. It's been obsoleted now or discontinued. So this is the Fluke 831. And as we open it up, let's see if I can readjust this camera just slightly so you can see. There we go. So what do we have? Start in the outer pocket. We've got probably a box full of chargers for every country you might visit. Uh, yeah. So you've got a charger and all the various countries. We are in the United States, so we use this one. Slide that to the top, pull this down, and now you're good to go. Now we just need a cord for the USB. So for this US demo, these can be thrown away now. Okay, we've got a USB cable, I assume for charging. We've got another USB cable to USB-C. We'll see where those go. This is a, um, a mini, I believe. Okay. Oh, and a second box of the same thing for the other cord. Okay. Okay, that's everything in the outer pocket. Next pocket in, got a sh shoulder strap for the case. We've got a micro cloth for cleaning the screen. We have a Fluke 831. I think this is a quick start guide, yeah. Quick start guide. It's gonna help us go through this if I can't figure it out without it both the like more of the unboxing than actual alignment itself with no words which makes it great for those that don't want to read instructions and Fluke doesn't have to print them in multiple languages when they do that I guess uh, a USB-C to this adapter we'll figure out what that's for later a prepaid for tape measure that's not Fluke branded but at least it's yellow that's kind of fun Oh, an Allen wrench, could be used. Some longer post, show you where those go later. And let's open it up and whoop -a -boo. look at that. So what do we have here? We've got the laser sensor and measuring. We've got the reflective prism, obviously the brackets that are gonna help be held on by the chains and this new big screen for the 831 for talking to it. Oh, very reflective. Okay, assume we hold that one down. Okay. One, two, three. No. Does it not have a battery in? Looks like it. Looks like it has a camera on the back too. That. RFID. Oh yeah, kickstand. Okay. 
just need to figure out how to turn it on. I might have to charge it and get back to you guys. There's the where we charge it. Looks like a USB-C. I'll do that one. While that fires up, a couple things I have noticed is nice hand straps on either side, which is kind of nice. Uh, obviously, this kickstand that I showed before. Um, there's a camera back here. I'm guessing that's for taking pictures of the assets with like a flash, it looks like. And it's obviously some kind of tablet. Looks like there's a forward facing camera. I'm not sure that you would ever use that. Unless you're trying to uh, FaceTime your friends or something while you're aligning stuff. We're going to have to let this charge. And I will finish this video when it's charged. Okay, I've got it charged enough now that we can power this thing on. And we'll, we'll go through and I'll at least show you some menu options. I'm not going to go through the full like a demo or like how to use right now. I'm just going to give you first impressions, what I'm seeing as I kind of fumble around with the um, with the unit. There we go. So it looks like it's a Samsung tablet wrapped in this like case to be more industrialized so it'll handle a fall on that plant floor. And let's see it fire up. Okay, hopefully I fast forwarded through that boot up section for you guys in editing. But here's our, touch, our uh, home screen and you kind of see these various icons. I'm going to have to go into um, and play with it off camera to kind of figure out whatever thing is. Obviously I see horizontal alignment, soft foot, vertical alignment. Those are going to be, I assume, the main things you're going to use when you're actually wanting to align something. So let's click horizontal alignment first. I would say that's probably what's going to be the thing most people do most often. First thing I noticed just from turning on is really cool graphics compared to the original Fluke 830. You can see it's kind of this 3D modeling. This camera up here, I'm going to hit that see what happens. Okay, so not only does it kind of give you a 3D spin around, but if you were on this side of the motor with the motor on the left side, I guess you would hit that and flip the screen around or hit that and go back and you can have your motor on the right side. It's kind of cool. Um, obviously it's pretty intuitive. It looks like the first dimension it's asking for is from the sensor to the prism and you just type it in here. Um, I'm not sure if I see... Oh, it's in millimeters right now. If I want to change... Ah, look! You just change it but to hit millimeters. Now it's in inches. That was pretty intuitive. Um, and then I think you're just going to work your way through these various steps as you hit readings. I think if you did this and hit next, gave it um, dimension and hit next. Okay, then it's going to ask for more dimension, so on and so forth. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, we skipped that one. Can I click it? Ooh, I can. Ooh, and then it takes a step to the next screen. Very cool. So, it's it very intuitive to step through that. That's kind of the horizontal. Let's take a look at soft foot. Okay, again, you're going to be able to see. I don't have the sensor turned on, but I'll show this in another video at some point. That's kind of cool. Let's go back to the home screen. Uh, okay. Tap new icon. Uh, ooh, that's exciting. Say, how do I say I don't want to do this? 
Ah, there. Maybe like that. So once I started that horizontal, it makes me continue through horizontal. I'm sure there's a way to exit that, I just don't see it yet. You guys are probably figuring it out faster than me. So that's kind of cool. Um, camera, so yes, you can take, whoops, my fingers are covering up. You can take an image of whatever. I assume that will be tied into a file. We'll do that, new asset, gallery, configuration, all the settings. So anyways, overall, I'm pretty excited about what this looks like. So I'm gonna go into more detail in another video probably in the next coming weeks um, to talk about some of the different features and kind of understand what this thing really brings to the table that's different than the 830. But my first impressions are really cool interface, touchscreen, very modern, up-to-date kind of interface versus traditional 830. And yeah, I mean, overall, I think it's going to be cool. So stick with us. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody that you think is worthwhile. Take care.